A lot of you guys are probably extremely familiar with this chapter, so starting at 6. Don't worry about anything, no matter what happens, tell God about everything. Here, come on up. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your heart and your mind. Come up here if you like, or over there. Wherever your heart desires. You've got the cutest little shirt. Can I sit there? Okay. <laughs> She's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> She has the cutest little shirt on. It's a mouse in a pocket. It's adorable. <laughs> Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this, he will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. Do what you have learned or received or have heard of me. Follow my example. The God who gives you peace will, will be with you. So talking about worry, what are some things that we worry about? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of options in 2020. Yes. But what are, what are some things that bring you worry? You can just shout them out. I know we've, we've got COVID. COVID, yeah. Our health in general, whether it be just whatever our personal health is, and then you have to worry about now if you go to a grocery store, will there be a whole new sort of health issues? What else? Bills. Bills, yeah. I think I think all of us at some point in life have, have had to worry about money and bills or what's going to happen with that. Anything else? Our grandchildren. Our grandchildren, family. yeah. Our family, our kids, especially right now. Um, you know, our, our parents, we have to worry about that so much more right now. Even for our younger people, school and homework and mm -hmm. how to use a computer correctly. And there's, there's a lot of different ways. And in, in this section of Philippians, um, Paul is basically writing a letter to his, his family and his friends, uh, telling them not to worry about him. He's, he's been jailed at this point in his life for preaching about Jesus and sharing the word of Jesus. So he's writing this. As he's sitting in jail, and, and I don't know about you, about you guys, but that would certainly give me some things to worry about. But he's actually telling his friends, um, no, I know there's, there's a rhyme and there's a reason to this, and there's a path through Jesus through it. And he doesn't, at no point does he say, don't worry guys, Jesus is going to get me out of jail. He never says that, but he does say, there's a reason for this. And we're going to pray through it, and we're going to figure out what it is, whether it be, be me continuing to go through this not-so-great process of jail, or if it's getting out in the long run. So amongst all the worry that's happening, and there certainly is a lot about it, and it may be big, it may be small, but it's things that weigh on our heart regardless, and, and those have a very rightful place. Um, know that there's a process with Jesus, and in all things, our worry can be big, but our, our prayers to Jesus are a lot bigger, and so we can remember those in the process. All right, we can all pray together for you. God, we come to you today just bringing you our worry and our heaviness of our heart. And we know there's so much um, anxiety and, and grief in the world right now. And we know that through all things, our prayer to you are even bigger. And that's one thing we just ask for guidance that um, even in the worry, that we always keep our prayers bigger than the, than the panic or the worry or the uncertainty. And in all things, we just ask that we not only see your light, but we be your light here. And Guidance throughout this earth. Amen. 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 Everybody have a great week. Thank you. Have a great week. Good.